that's actually that's stuck on. What in the world? I, I honestly think my door might fall off before any of these come loose or anything. Today guys, we are actually opening up the car mount that I just purchased. So it was about a hundred. I got a, um, a like new one that was basically brand new, but someone sent back. So it was like 156, but I think with tax, it's probably around 200 total. Um, so we're gonna unbox this and test it out in the car and let you guys know if it's a good car mount to use to entrust with your camera. Now, the nice thing about this is it came with a case, I believe, and a safety strap, which I was very keen on wanting to get um, because this is a very expensive camera. I don't want to be dropping it. So we should have a video coming soon with Celis where we'll actually be using it, but I want to test it and make sure I trust it before we do any of that. So without further ado, where'd I put my, my knife at? pretty dang nice bag like carrying case thing I like it, it's it's kind of generic looking but um, Amazon thanks to you this product has a second life and we appreciate it that's pretty dope we're all about saving the environment and being less wasteful but this it's it's really nice look at this cam tree freaking the red little lining on it it's zipper and stuff because it could just be like you know out in the open and I have nothing to like transport it in but got little feet on the bottom of it Ooh, okay so I don't know if there's instructions or what so this looks like it's a, the legs the leg pieces I would assume um, okay and then here are the suction cups that actually stick to your car now they seem a little dirty but that shouldn't be anything that like is really a big deal in the first place see one of the things I liked about this is it doesn't just have the things you like pull to kind of lock it into place you can like pump it up a little bit as well okay so that's pretty dope all the nuts and bolts and screws and things um, download manual so I guess you have to download the manual online but we have the different joints for the legs and everything. This is a lot like the ball head that's actually on my camera tripod I'm using right there. Um, obviously you have these, you have the legs, and now I just need to figure out how to necessarily set it up. This looks like it's the head of it um, from what I saw online. So I saw a video about it, I figured I'd get it and I'd do a video as well and see what I think of it. Because the video is pretty old now. Um, this appears to be the safety strap. Okay, so you, you actually pull this and it kind of locks it. And then there's a little black button right here that you use that kind of loosens it. So that's pretty dope. So all in all, it looks pretty dang new. The only sign of use that I can see is these the little rubber pads, but that could just be how they come. Okay, so through the website, if you look up Camtree G51, I don't know if this will adjust so you guys can actually see it, but it gives you a little manual you can download onto your phone. Now, I probably would prefer to just have the manual in the packaging, but that's not a big deal at all. That's nothing to gripe about in my opinion. It's just kind of a convenience thing. Now, it looks very simple to set up, so let's take it outside and set it up. All right, so I decided to use the Tascam mic just so you guys could hear me a little bit better. I didn't think the shotgun mic would quite reach out where I needed it to. Um, so we're going to try putting this on the car looking in my side window and at first I'm going to just use the GoPro just because I have GoPros to spare and I prefer not to lose my main camera. So I brought out some Windex and stuff so we can clean off the side of the car make sure it has a good platform to stick to um, and I have the manual downloaded on my phone just in case. I may need to clean the bottoms of these off, I don't know. Oh no, that's actually, that's stuck on. 
What in the world? That is really, oh my gosh, that was, that's really stuck on. Okay, we'll still clean it off just to make sure um, that it sticks as best it can to give you guys an accurate depiction. Um, and then maybe I'll end up trying my camera on it after we drive around with the GoPro for a little because I want to be 100% sure that nothing is going to happen to my camera beforehand. All right, so um, it's pretty much as simple as popping these up, if you guys see. So it has this thing right here. Um, you basically, it's popped up like this. You put it flat against the surface that you want stuck to. You push this down and then you can also press this to get a little bit more suction if needed as well to make sure it's stuck really well. We'll stick the third one on just for good measure. I don't think it's really needed as much as these are sticking, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So now that we have that set up, we should just have to screw these in. Um, and we have extras. I think we have enough to put three legs on each. All the legs around this, it looks kind of like six inches maybe. Um, I think they're six inch legs. And then these look like they're about half the size. Uh, so you have like, 18 inches in total of like extension i, I guess <laughs> so um how do these go in there so then you put these inside of each of the little tabs on the the st like the things that stick to your car and all Honestly, with the way those are stuck under the door, my door might fall off before these fall. <laughs> um, okay, so this should screw in next. Now I may have to readjust these a little just to make sure. Like I said, this is kind of the review of a first time user of something like this. I've never really had a use for one of these. I do a lot with cars and stuff and I've seen a lot of people make videos using these to take um, like rolling shots of people's cars and stuff. So this may be like a very valuable asset to yours or my arsenal, um, but we will kind of have to see. I wonder, do these go on first? Maybe not, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Once I kind of get this hooked up once, I'll kind of be able to gauge it in the future, hopefully, to know exactly where to put them depending on the car and to get what angle and all. So don't be too upset with me if I get it wrong at first. Cause these may even be too high with only the six inch extensions on them. I'm not 100% sure. Cause I'm feeling like I need to put one of these on the bot. Cause these are really long as is. But I think to actually get this to go in the middle of them, I'm going to need some more like moving room, I guess. Yeah, I don't think this is going to fit. I think I'm going to have to take these off and then add another one of these moving pieces right here, down here, so these will move around a little bit more. So let's try that out quick. And that should give us a little bit more mobility. I can't quite, I don't know any situation in which I would need all three of these on at once. You know, I'm happy that they're there. I just, I can't think of like, maybe if I was filming like a semi truck or something, how this can kind of, we can tilt this down and get it to where we necessarily need it at, which is dope. Okay, let's add one of those legs, these little ball head type things onto this one. And then we'll probably add that right here rather than taking that full thing off just to make sure um, because I don't think it's really needed. Like you don't need it at every joint, you need it at specific joints. Cause I feel like if you add it at too many joints then it would be weak in the first place, but we'll see. Like I said, we will learn. Um, my door also has a weird, oh, I just screwed. <laughs> my door also has kind of a weird curvature with the indent and stuff anyway. So this will be a pretty decent test, I think. Hmm. Didn't realize that this did not have 
My other GoPro, my Y4K actually has the little mount on the bottom. This one doesn't, so I'm gonna have to take care of that. So it seems like as you tighten everything, it kind of like tightens itself up just because of the way all the joints and everything work, which is pretty nice. So I don't think that issue I'm having with this will really be an issue. Okay, so as you guys can all see, we um, we got the mounts attached to the car. They seem to be very, very sturdy. Like, I, I honestly think my door might fall off before any of these come loose or anything. It's still a little flimsy at the top. I think if I tighten the, the safety strap up a little bit, that would help a lot with that. Um, it just, it feels really nice and sturdy. I definitely think that I can set it up a little bit better, but for the GoPro, it shouldn't matter. I think if I set it up on the hood, it would be a lot easier as well because the strap I believe is supposed to run through here and then strap onto like your wheel wells or something like that. But it, right now, like I said, we're gonna test it with the GoPro to make sure, but it seems sturdy. It just, it's, there's a little bit of wobble, but I think that's because everything is like straight up rather than kind of creating a, triangular support system um i may even be better off if i move this down a little bit more so this can be straight up and kind of forcing it that way let's see if i can rearrange these a little bit and get it even better and then we'll go test it out all right so i think i have it about as good as it's going to get for the moment um just with the way that my door is set up i can't really create um like any type of just like better support you know it's still want to rock back and forth because i don't have a leg from this side kind of pushing against it and creating force so i'm kind of using this as the like factor to help create force against it um honestly my camera isn't that heavy so i don't as long as it like can deal with this at like a decent speed it should be just fine obviously i don't want to be going down the highway with this on my car but um we're gonna go and test it out So it took me a little bit to actually get this set up on the window how I wanted to. I wanted to have it set up so it angled at me decently and I realized this lens isn't quite wide enough. It still gets the job done, but I just would prefer it to be a little bit wider, which will be fixed while I get my new camera and everything, um, depending on if we do need a wider shot. But it looks really good. It's super sturdy. Like I know it's shaking a little, but it's pretty dang sturdy. Um, I'm gonna flip this back just to be safe. So I'm gonna go drive around the block quick and just see how like how safe I feel with it. Obviously, I do not want someone driving on the highway with this, but like it, it doesn't seem too bad. So uh, let's see. This is just like, it, it's such a, I'm like very fearful, <laughs> but.
So how did that, how, how'd that look to you guys? I like, I gotta say I'm extremely nervous putting this here in the window, but like I have to test it out beforehand and it, it, it seemed to work pretty darn well. So let, let me watch this back and see what I think. <laughs> Alright guys, to wrap this up, what do I think of the Camtree G51 Professional car mount? At least they call it professional. I personally think it's great. I think it does a great job at what it's supposed to do. It gives me a lot of relief knowing that my camera is safe. Now would I recommend you putting this on your car, putting your A7C, Canon camera, $1,000, $2,000 camera on top of it, and going 70 to 80 miles per hour down the highway? I would not recommend that at all. Now, if you're looking for something to get nice camera shots inside the window, inside the windshield, from the roof of your car, even your GoPro or something, I probably would go for something a little bit smaller if you're going to use your GoPro. It's a little complicated. It's a little tedious to set up and get perfectly right. Um, it's kind of hard to get it in the best position possible. I can't lie. That could be improved with maybe a ball head or a fluid filled head of a tripod, like the one that's on my tripod, um, being able to angle it and everything. And I think that's truly what's meant to go on top of it, if I'm completely being honest. I think that's one thing that could really make this a little bit better, is if they included like a fluid head, a ball head, something nice to go on top of it. I probably would prefer the fluid head as the little Joby tripod head, thinking about it now would be a little bit too small for it, but something like the fluid head from my video mate tripod would be really nice for the top of it um and one other thing that i think that they could improve upon greatly would be the little ratcheting safety strap now i'm i understand why it may not be the strongest or most durable strap in the world considering it's something that's included for free with this but it is one thing that i feel like could be improved upon as it's very plasticky and i feel like could break very easily do i think it would save my camera in the event that the car mount does fail probably but would it probably get damaged in the fall anyway yes and with the way that these grip onto your car door in the first place i feel like my car door would have to fall off before the suction cups would actually fall off the car door overall it does a great job it stabilized the footage pretty well based on my opinion and based on me using gimbals and holding my camera in the car, getting shots out the windshield and everything. I think it does a wonderful job. It's very hard for a human being to hold the camera steady in the car. And this does a great job at it. That's pretty dang stable footage. If you really wanted, you could probably throw a gimbal or something on top of it and then connect your camera. I don't know if I'd be willing to go through all the effort. I kind of like the movement in it, like showing that the car's actually moving. I notice a lot of times while I'm watching movies, if the camera is too stable in the car, sometimes it almost feels like the car's not even moving and maybe there's just a green screen or something. But I digress. The Cam Tree G51 is an excellent addition to anyone's arsenal if they plan to have to get rolling shots, car shots. Um, just pretty much anything dealing with the car and the camera. I think it's an awesome piece of equipment to have in your arsenal and I'm very glad I bought it. Cam Tree, if you're seeing this, I would gladly review any other equipment you have or are releasing, um, but I think you guys did a wonderful job with this and I trust my camera with it. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys later.